If I told you that one of my favorite things to eat is oleolethanolamine, what would you say? You'd say, okay, that guy either doesn't know what the heck he's talking about, or that's some scientific jargon that I don't even want to hear about. All right, probably the latter. But when I tell you the acronym, OEA, <laughs> maybe you'll at least deal with this video. But more importantly, when I tell you what the heck this stuff does inside your body and how you can use it on your cauliflower crust pizzas and it can actually help you burn more fat, I think you might want to tune in. I'm Thomas DeLauer with Cauliflower Foods and let's talk about oleic acid which comes from beautiful avocado oil and olive oil. So what are some things that you put on your pizza? You might put some marinara, you might put some pesto, things like that. Well, I'm going to tell you, lean towards the pesto side mainly because of the oleic acid. If you get some good quality pesto that's made with olive oil, olive oil contains the omega-9, which is called oleic acid. And what oleic acid does is it converts via some different enzymatic processes in the body into OEA, oleonethanolamine. Complicated word, but OEA for short. Now what OEA does is it activates something known as the PPAR delta pathway. Here goes Thomas again with weird scientific jargon. The PPAR delta pathway is a genetic pathway that activates a bunch of other different gene expression activity in the body to ultimately, from a genetic level, tell your body it's okay to mobilize fat. Normally, our body's on a little bit of high alert, and it doesn't want to let go of our stored body fat. You've all been in that situation before. The body just doesn't let go. It's like you'll lose muscle in your shoulders and your arms and your chest before you start losing it in your midsection, right? You lose the, like, it's, it's just like your body holds on to it. Well, that's because it needs that genetic switch to be flipped, and it needs that genetic cascade, for lack of a better word, to really be activated. It says it's okay to release the fat. Well, it turns out that this oleic acid converting into OEA does just that. That's why I am so hot on olive oil right now. And I haven't always been. It's just in the last six months this research coming out is just getting me super excited. But it also does something activating what's called uncoupling proteins, which I've done other videos for cauliflower foods surrounding it. But when you combine it with the activation of PPAR, it means that you're getting fats mobilized into the bloodstream and then those fats that are mobilized are getting turned into body heat so that your body just runs hotter and burns more fat. So the point is, don't think of a ketogenic diet as just having additional just fat for fuel. Think of it as interesting ways that your body starts kind of manipulating its own genetic pathways to be fat burning machines. It's not the eating of the fat that makes you burn fat. It's the fat's activation of genetic processes that would otherwise lay dormant within our bodies. So please make sure you keep it locked in here with cauliflower foods and don't be afraid to be liberal with that olive oil. Just douse that sucker. See you soon.